Okay, everyone, this is my Pokemon Diamond playthrough part 22. Um, I have to be a little quiet because it's 4 a.m. where I am. Yeah. Well, I don't have to be quiet, but I'd rather be quiet. So, um, yeah, while I'm healing everyone, I said I would give a shout out to the first person and guess what drink I was drinking in my last video. Um, that was, uh, Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew was the first, was the drink. And the person that got it right was... Pengi pie. That's the only thing I can. That's the only way I can pronounce it. But anyway, so he's gonna fight a wig, and he's like, "Oh, look at me! I'm so awesome!" And I'm like, "Yeah, you are." And then he sends out Gyarados. So like, oh, yeah, that's kind of awesome. Uh, so, anyways, um, I go into Miko and get the Intimidate. It goes for a Brine, and that only does that much. And it goes for a Bite. It still doesn't do much. I use Spark and KO it, and I'm like. Oh, Miko, you're so broken sometimes. Now he's gonna send out Quagsire, and I'm like, uh, duh, go Mr. Magoo. And he's like, uh, I'm Magoo. And Quagsire's just gonna sit there and look all, I don't know, cute about life. And I'm gonna Razor Leaf it to death. Not really. And <laughs> he's super, so I'm like, ha ha ha, I wonder what happened if I get a crit. Oh, I did. Actually, I was seriously thinking that when I was playing. I'm like, that'd be funny if I got a crit, and I did. And I was like, wow. Anyway, so I go into Houdini, and Houdini's like, look at my spoon. You are so scared of my spoon. And Waker's like, oh, I can do the same pose as you are doing, Kadabra. And then Houdini's just like, you know what, I'm going to Sabim. Uh, Swift doesn't KO me, and a Sabim for the win. Yay, Houdini for being broken. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so, um, Sharp Tooth is trying to learn Ancient Power, and I'm like, sure, since I really don't care. And I beat Wag! Oh, yay! So, um... Yeah, random other note that I sh guess I should mention, because I can. I got tonight, or technically today, because it's Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, everyone! Anyways, um, I got Dante's Inferno. I cannot wait to play that. I'll probably start it as soon as I'm done uploading this video. <laughs> and... I, my mommy got it for me. Thank you, mommy. She's right next to me. She's like, you better say thank you. And I'm like, okay, don't beat me. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I'm going here. Do, 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 do. And actually, I did some things. I can't really remember what. But anyways, look how, like, much, look how better the world map is compared to, like, when it was so choppy. I mean, I'm getting there. I'm getting it. Whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so. Now he's like, don't you follow me? And I'm like, man, you can run quick. And I'm like, I'm going to run after you. And then I talk to him, and he's like, ah, persistent pest. Our boss's ideal world is going to be amazing. And I'm like, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't really care. I just got to go on with the story. Anyway, so he's like, whoops, haha, <laughs> I'm gonna, not going to plow into you every time I meet. That's, that is what he said. Anyway, so I'm challenging my PK Sparks, and he still has a stupid Starlight level 20. He's like, Evolve it! You were just like, Ash! Anyways, so we're gonna Miko get the Intimidate, because I know he's gonna use some random, like, bird flying move. Yeah, that. And that's gonna do nothing, and I'm just gonna rape it with Spark. And Mr. Gru le Gru's level 27, I was thinking, mm, Should I get should I get Mega Train? Then I kinda looked at my moves, and I was like, Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, so. Mm, he sends a weasel, and I stay in, and I'm going to spark it after he growls, and I think that's still going to kill. I think, yeah, that's what I thought. And, um, now he's going to send out Monferno, I think, yeah, and I go to Supersonic, and he's like, I'm Sonic, look at me go! This thing this flame wheel is nothing, because I resist it, and Sonic got pretty good defense. Confuse it, too, which is awesome. Mm, and oh, he just goes to Monk, which still does nothing, and I'm able to KO it with the water pulse. <sighs> we were doing narrations at 4 in the morning. <laughs> oh, my mouse randomly just decided to poke in the. Yeah, so I go into Houdini to take this first Leah after m m thinking, because I don't, want, I don't want Houdini to be severely over level, you know? <sighs> Whatever. So, oh yeah, by the way, I taught you didn't get to see it. I did teach, um. Veneery or Playboy, um, I thought Playboy a drain punch because I can. And I don't like the fact that if I miss with high jump kick, my legs are gonna come back and hit me in the face and do a crap ton of damage. So, you know. Anyway, so I'm on Route 213 and I'm like, oh, look at my footprints in the sand. Not really, but 
I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, is there an item back here? Oh, no, just a rock. So, no, I mean, there's an item there. I don't really care about it, because I'm just trying to go through. Um, and now the grunt is just, like, talking to the water, because the water is his reflection is his only friend, pretty much. Kind of like that one guy in, um, in, um, my Ruby playthrough in the second town you come to, who... Uh, Pedalberg, yeah. He's just like talking so. He has such a deep conversation with me. I was just like, wow, you're really in a kid's video game? Handheld game? For Shizzle? And, anyways, whatever. So, whatever. Uh, if you remember that, guys, you're awesome. So, now I'm just trying to find that, that uh, grunt. There he is. And he's like, why am I running away? I'm such a coward. Whatever. Um. I. I'm just reading this. <laughs> but I'm not going to battle you. Oh my gosh, just battle me. Get it over with. Mom, hand me a num num. <laughs> Sorry, my mom says, Holy crap, you ate so many, Mom. Anyways. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, so now I'm fighting him. Yay. I just went and num num. I'm done. Anyway, so. Um. Yeah, I have a stinking glam meow. It made it sound like he was such an important person. But really not. I can't close the stupid thing. There we go. <laughs> um, I beat the grunt. That was severely disappointing. Um, so I was slowly walking away when I could have just like gone up to him, do the snake thing, and be like, "Answer me," and then he'd be like, "No, I won't say anything," and I'll be like, sk, sk, "Whatever." <laughs> uh, someone's been playing too much Metal Gear. <sighs> I have no life. Well, I do, but whatever. You know, we don't need to go into that. <laughs> just revolves around video games. Uh, sorry, my mom's just like randomly adding. Whatever, I'm done. Anyway, so, uh, Cynthia's just like, you remember that group of Psyduck? Well, you have to beat them in order for them to move. And I'm like, oh, I do? I'm just kidding. She just gives me a, um, a secret potion and, yeah, she's like, see you later. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she just runs off so fast. And I get in a Pokemon battle. Skip. <laughs> um, and here's me failing because I had my <laughs> I had my um fail <laughs> my one of my um fingers on the pad and I was just like doing all these way. I'm like, why am I moving so awkwardly? So now there's just like random fences that make a maze and it's just like really who would ever place them there is beyond me. Well, whatever, I'm done. Anyway, so I'm back at Veilstone, and we're going to go and get uh, Not Starly, and we're going to fly to Salation Town. So we got our Pokemon, we got our Not Starly, and I didn't mean to look at the summary. Fly to, um, first of all I'm thinking, wait, wait, where do I need to go? And then I'm like, oh yeah, here. So here's the epic Bailey, like I usually do. And I'm going to fly to Salation, where all the heck town people live. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon and get my Houdini back. So anyways, I'm just kidding. I'm done. Um, I'll run up the mudslide and um, now I'm gonna go beat up these Psyducks because I can. Not really. So I just like kind of speed this part up because all I do is just make them aware that they're standing there being stupid. And Cynthia comes up and says, Oh, good, you did that. Now I need you to do something else. And I'm like, Really, Cynthia? I guess she hates her um, her grandmother so much that she has me, a random stranger, go do this for her instead of herself. Man, what kind of grandma must she be? What kind of person must Cynthia be? So now I'm just like thinking, Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I do do this now. Sorry. Yeah, I get rid of jump kick and... Oh, I don't? Oh, I thought I did. My, you know what? Just... Whatever. I'm gonna <laughs> so now I'm thinking, okay, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, you need to go back and get defog. Um, I already checked, and the emulator makes it look like nothing. It looks great. I can see everything perfectly, so I really don't need defog. It's just the trainer battles are going to be a bit annoying because the fog makes you miss more. But other than that, um, yeah, because that's what editing is th is for. You can just speed everything up <laughs> or t even take it out if you want, whatever. So, 
I'm not gonna lie. Around, actually, it was this afternoon when I was doing this playthrough. When I was actually playing it, I started falling asleep around this part. I was like, uh, I was like fighting him, and I was falling asleep. Anyway, so I just run up here, and I'm thinking, should I go? And I'm like, nah, I think I'll save the next part for tomorrow or whenever I decide to post. So, thanks for watching, guys, and um, yeah, see you guys on my next playthrough. <gasps> Bye. Tee hee.